Training your chest at home can be tough. It can be difficult and it can be tricky. But today I'm going to show you guys some crazy push-up uh, variations that you can do from home. So these variations are fun and they're not like the generic things you'll do, the conventional push-ups you'll do. Because usually most people will just rush through a chest workout, especially if it's one with no equipment, especially if it's one that's just push-ups. Today I'm going to show you guys a no equipment chest workout you can do at home or anywhere at all. So make sure you're ready to get a good chest burn and let's get started y'all. <laughs> Okay, here we go. For the first workout, we've got some wide to close push-ups. So you want to do about four sets, 10 reps each. So for each rep, you want to do each variation. So you go from wide to close for each one. Okay, here are some tips for you guys. You want to make sure you're going from a wide grip to a close grip and you want to bring your chest as close to the floor as possible without touching the floor. You also want to make sure you're controlling your reps and making sure they're really slow and controlled and not rushed through. If you're finding it difficult to do push-ups, you know, regular push-ups, then you might want to try it with your knees on the floor. So also make sure that you keep your back and your butt straight. And this also applies to regular push-ups. Number two, staggered push-ups. Four sets, 10 repetitions. Here are some tips for you guys. You want to make sure that you alternate your hand placement explosively. So this is a plyometric type of push-up. You also want to make sure you bring your chest as close to the ground after every explosive uh, alternate. So you want to make sure that you're also doing this with your knees on the floor if it's difficult for you to do push-ups, you know, regular push-ups. So keep your back and your butt straight as well, even if your knees are on the floor. Next up, we've got some pulse and push-ups. Four sets, 10 repetitions. Okay, here's some tips. You wanna make sure that for this one, you're not bringing your body all the way up or all the way down. You wanna make sure you stay at that neutral point, that midpoint, and pause. So just pause all the way, control your repetition. So slowly do it and get that squeeze in there. The same goes for if you're doing it with your knees on the floor. Also make sure that you maintain a straight back. This is very crucial. A straight back and a straight butt is important for every push-up I will be talking about, especially when you're targeting your chest. Next up, we've got some diamond push-ups. Four sets, another 10 repetitions each. For this one, make sure that every single time you're going up, you're exploding upwards and you're squeezing your chest. You also wanna make sure you count three seconds on the way down, because this one is an extra slow tempo than you know the regular push-ups we've been doing. So the same goes for it when you do this with your knees on the floor. You wanna make sure you're counting the three seconds as you're going down, you're keeping your back and your butt straight, and you're getting a good squeeze at the top of each repetition. Last but not the least, push-ups to half burpees. Four sets, and you wanna do this for about 10 repetitions. Here's a tip. You wanna make sure that you maintain a neutral grip every time you're doing the push-up, and you wanna go from a push-up to a half burpee explosively. So this is almost like a, a plyometric workout, so you make sure that you're going explosively, but also controlling your tempo. If you can't do this, make sure you're just doing a regular push-up with your knees on the floor, just with a neutral grip. There's a chest workout you can do anywhere, anytime. So this workout requires no equipment, like I said, but it's up to you to make it difficult. It's up to you to make it challenging. It's up to you to make it work. So make sure you're following the slow tempo rules. So make sure you're doing each workout, especially the ones that aren't, you know, plyometric style. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as always. 
Subscribe to my channel if you're new to it. If you enjoyed this video and want to see some more like it, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas, and I'm out, y'all. <laughs>